It was Friday night, and I just wanted to stay in and spend time with my girlfriend, Sarah. But of course, we agreed to meet our two friends at the carnival, Mike and Jake. We decided to meet between 8.30 and 9 p.m., and my girlfriend was looking hot and sexy as usual. As we were waiting for them in the car, I started to kiss Sarah. It started as a peck on the lips, and then we started kissing passionately and feeling each other up. My tongue was in her mouth, and I was pulling her hair. She started touching my breasts. Ah, so good. I starting biting on her lip, and she starts thrusting into me. I want her. I want her bad. Then Jake knocks on the window. I didn't want to stop, she whispered. I'm wet. I said so am I. We didn't want to get out of the car, but we did. The night was crisp, warm, and we were all excited to spend Friday evening at the carnival in the outskirts of town. The neon lights flickered in the distance, casting an eerie glow on the deserted streets as we all approached the entrance. We stumbled upon the haunted house, a dilapidated structure with creaking doors and flickering lights. Eager to add a touch of excitement to their night, they decided to explore the eerie corridors. Inside, the air grew dense with tension. I couldn't resist stealing kisses from Sarah amidst the dimly lit, ghostly scenes. The flickering candlelight created unsettling shadows that seemed to dance in the corners of our vision but it felt sexy and mysterious to kiss while in the haunted house. As we exited the haunted house, our attention turned to the broken down roller coaster nearby. Ignoring the ominous warnings, we all decided to brave the ride, eager for an adrenaline rush. The rickety coaster clanked and groaned as it ascended, the rusty metal protesting the weight of its passengers. As the coaster plummeted into a sudden dip, a chilling wind swept through the air. Emma brushed her hand down my leg and up my thigh. Just when I thought she was going to make a move on me, a ghostly figure materialized in the air, enveloping Jake in a swirling mist. Panicked screams echoed through the desolate carnival grounds as the coaster continued its descent. The coaster screeched to a halt, and the once lively carnival fell into an eerie silence. Mike, visibly shaken, stumbled out of the coaster, frantically searching for Jake. But Jake was nowhere to be found. <laughs> We are all now paralyzed with fear, exchanged horrified glances. The carnival, once a place of joy and laughter, transformed into a haunted realm where reality blurred with the supernatural. The neon lights flickered ominously as I clung to Emma, haunted by the ghostly disappearance of our friend, forever trapped in the twisted memories of that fateful night. <laughs>